This is Brother Barnes, and in the summer of 1974, I was 11 years old. This is a strange aerial phenomenon that I witnessed in that summer. My dad was doing an internship at Lawrence Livermore Research Laboratory in California. We were driving home perhaps after church along a two-lane road. I was in the right back seat position. My dad was driving, my mom was riding shotgun, one sister in the back seat with me, and this was before car seats. Likely my mom was holding my toddler sister in the front seat. To the left of the car on a relatively pitch black moonless night, what I can remember I estimated as traveling several hundred miles per hour and persisting for several seconds. What I witnessed resulted in an eerie green evening sky, much like what is seen with the Aurora Borealis, but without the electrical effects. Just kind of green, hazy, kind of neon-y looking, perhaps. The object moved relatively parallel to the ground, and about the time we went a hump to bump right here over the railroad tracks, a bright yellow explosion to the left of the vehicle, then forward progress past the car, a bright orange explosion, then progression to a bright white explosion. I think that's the best I can remember. It could have been bluish, possibly, uh, but then complete darkness. Uh, when we exited the car at the apartments in Livermore, the entire night sky was an eerie green, not blackish blue as normal. I remember that as we exited the car under a parking lot light, the sky was visibly discolored. <laughs> I, I was kind of, I was amazed at all of this. I was in shock at what I just su saw. Sue saw. Oh man. My dad looked at me and said nothing. That kind of even made it worse. Nothing else was ever said about the mysterious aerial display. My guess is that it was the launch of a multi-stage rocket that somehow got turned sideways. My name is Daryl Barnes. It's 2021. I'm 57 right now. And as we're considering space exploration, Mars and beyond, somehow this just kind of came to my mind.